Right, what is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's Chelsea news video. And there's a lot to talk about, man. I'm going to be honest. There's reports from the Metro, two reports from the Metro Sport, which I'll be talking about today. One about Willian's sulk when he was apparently benched for the Leicester game after he was upset he didn't get a January transfer to Barcelona which is interesting I want to talk about that because there's a few points and things we could speculate on regarding that and of course it might be nonsense because it's in the media they are also reporting on what Jorginho's agent said regarding a potential summer move to Juventus now this is interesting again it's a come from an agent's mouth so it could be nonsense but it's something that his agent has actually said so it is interesting. Chelsea have signed a winger. That's right. We've signed someone. I know nothing about this kid. That story's not gonna last for long. <laughs> and I wanna talk about Kepa Ruiz Balaga's form. It's been reported from Spain that his form dropping off sort of correlates with him splitting up with his long-term sweetheart of nine years and how that might have been emotionally affecting him, which is something I mentioned on the channel before briefly, but I want to report on it properly today. Right, before we do get into the content today, I want to request that you guys subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Please do sub, hit that bell notifications icon. Why not like the video to help me out? And why not follow me on Instagram to hang out with me on Instagram Lives? Right then, let's get into it. All right, before we talk about the juicy stuff of Jorginho's potential move to Juventus to rejoin up with Sari at the end of the season, and Willian's potential sulk. Let's get the other admin out of the way. Football.London reports Chelsea have agreed a deal to sign IFK Gothenburg winger Edwin Anderson, who will move to Stamford Bridge immediately despite the January transfer window closing. I guess he is not under contract. The highly rated 16 year old who has been tracked by Manchester United had a deal provisionally agreed with the Blues for several months but the transfer has now been confirmed by the Swedish side. Basically, there's some quotes by the club saying he's really good. I don't know much about him. He's highly rated. Apparently, he was chased by Manchester United and some other big clubs. Apparently, he's a pacey, powerful, direct ringer. Never seen him or heard of him before in my life. <laughs> Chelsea obviously signed the Norwegian striker who's 16 years old as well. They've gone back to signing kids, but if it's a smart move for the future, if these guys are going to be superstars, Moving forwards, it's good business. We'll talk about this in a couple of years if they surface in the first team. Anyway, let's talk about Kepa. So, I know it, you know it. We've all seen the dismal stats of how Kepa is the worst in the league in many ways. Certainly this season, his form has been. And we know that he's generally a talented goalkeeper and has demonstrated ability before in the Chelsea side. So what gives? Why is he in stinky form? Well, Spanish news outlets are reporting that this could correlate with his breakup with his long-term girlfriend. Nine years, now I get it right. You break up with someone, it messes with your head, you're living in another country, you, the whole, your life dynamic changes. It could happen. But at the same time, it's kind of dependent on the character and whether that affects your form. Remember when Frank Lampard scored that penalty just after his mother passed away, or even Willian, more on him in a moment, after his mother passing, he played some good football. Um, it kind of depends of how you apply yourself when something sad happens in your life. I don't want to be uncompassionate here and say it's a weak sort of mentality or anything, but if something, every time something sad happens in your life, if that lets it, you, if it affects your work in such a way, you shouldn't be working, you should go and stop or whatever. I, I, it's hard to be sort of empathetic, sympathetic and a proper Chelsea fan here, do you know what I mean? But saying that, you're not going to constantly be splitting up with people you've been with for nine years, so I kind of have a bit of empathy, I guess. Still, if you look at my video I did yesterday when I talk about Chelsea's strongest lineup after the winter break, Kepa is reintroduced into that lineup. Go check out that video if you have not seen it, it's quite fun. And let's move on to the other stories. Right, before we talk about Jorginho's agent's comments about him potentially moving to Juventus after the Euros, ugh, let's talk about Willian. Now, this is a conflicting story for me because we all know Willian wanted British citizenship. We all know he loves living in London and wants to stay, we think, at Chelsea, just wants to double his wages and get a contract that's worth a few years rather than a 12 month extension that Chelsea would be offering. But Barcelona came along and I've always maintained that regardless to him having this stance about liking Chelsea and liking London, that 
Barcelona comes along, offers you three, four year contract, loads of money, play with Messi, win La Liga immediately, maybe win the Champions League, sunny. You know, it's kind of tempting, isn't it? So the Metro have also reported today on Willian about how apparently he did want this January move and because he didn't see himself getting the contract he wanted from Chelsea. One was on the table from Barcelona that looked really, really good indeed. Chelsea didn't release him. Understandably, Lampard sees him as a very, very important player to his Chelsea side and for his plans moving forward. Indeed, Lampard wants a contract extension for Willian as well. He's in the same boat as him, but apparently if this gossip rumours are to be believed, Lampard was understandably upset about Willian apparently going through the motions at training and just sulking a little bit. Lampard trains his players very, very hard indeed and expects 150% in training to get on the pitch. So when he sees a player like Willian who's been important for him, maybe his head's dropped a little bit, sulking like the reports say, he's like, right, I'm not having that. Pedro's been training really, really well. I'm going to start Pedro against Leicester. Obviously, Willian comes on with about a quarter of an hour to go when Chelsea are chasing a winner in that game. But still, it's a big statement to drop him for that game. I did actually say this as well personally. Before this new story broke in the Metro, I actually speculated on this channel that there might be something going on there when I saw he was dropped for that game after the Barcelona links. Now, what do I think about this rumour, gossip, I'm not sure because I did speculate that when I first saw him dropped but at the same time I do know he loves London, he loves Chelsea but maybe he just saw an opportunity that he just was too good to say no to so he said yes but essentially Chelsea said no to so he sulked. One thing out of all of this I do believe and as much as I love the player Willian loves a sulk. You see it on the pitch all the time when a move doesn't come off as opposed to getting his head down and just carrying on running. He, remember he's one of the senior players in the starting 11 here. He throws his arms up all the time, he drops his shoulders, he drops his head. He, act, he literally stamps his feet like a toddler having a tantrum sometimes. So I can believe that he's of the inclination to throw the odd tantrum and sulk. So I can imagine him doing that around the training pitch. No offence, I love the player, but I'm just saying. Anyway, watch the space regarding Willian at Chelsea. I'll of course keep you guys updated on Football Therapy on whether he signs a deal or he's likely to go in the summer. So just stop by Football Therapy every day, all the time. Right, let's talk about the main event, Jorginho's agent's comments regarding the Brazilian Italian. All right, so again, this was reported on the Metro Sports. Board. Jorginho's agent is expecting interest in his client in the summer and has not ruled out his client leaving Chelsea to reunite with former manager Maurizio Sarri at Juventus. Mm. The Italy international has been an integral figure at Stamford Bridge under Frank Lampard this season, starting 20 of the club's 25 Premier League games so far. Yep, Lampard does love him. While Lampard has introduced new young talent into many areas of the team, the 28 year old, damn he's 28 now, has held on to his place in the side but the Blues boss is a big fan of Jorginho's work. However, Lampard could be in a fight to keep the midfielder with his agent, Jao Santos, predicting bids to come in for the Brazil born schemer. Brazil born schemer? What a thing to call Jorginho. Jorginho has specifically been linked to a switch with Juventus and a third link up with Sarri who managed him at Napoli at Chelsea last season. At the suggestion of another Jorginho Sari reunion, Santos told Tuto Mercato Web, that's the Italian newspaper again, why not? I'm sure that some important proposals will come, which we'll obviously evaluate together with Chelsea. Okay, bearing in mind this is translated from Italian, so often this goes a bit funny. Even personally, he is doing very well at Chelsea, and I'm sure that some important proposals will come because in his role, there are not many high-level players like him around. The Regista, yes, the OG Regista. The player, though, is focused on his own performances and specifically preparing for Italy's campaign at Euro 2020. His goal is at the Europeans, which I guess is the Euros, with the national team, continued Santos. There are many expectations around Roberto Mancini's team. The European Championship is also a good showcase. A showcase! What, for sale? When's he for, why is he for sale? Why is he suddenly in the showcase? Lampard would be loathed to lose Jorginho, a player he's been thoroughly impressed with since his return to Stamford Bridge as manager. In August, the boss said of the Italy international, I love his spirit. I love how he trains and how he plays. I keep going on about it, but it's infectious and that's important. Lampard loves Jorginho. I watched him last year and I thought he finished the season really well, but you only know what a player he is when you watch him day in, day out. 
From the first day of training, he showed me instantly his quality and attitude. Well, I'm actually fortunate to have Jorginho. And of course, Jorginho himself has complimented working under Lampard and say, look, I've been playing under Sarri for four years. This is nice and refreshing. Jorginho told The Athletic, I have more freedom. <laughs> After four years with the same coach, it's an obvious a change will bring new ideas. In the past, everything was about keeping a balance to our play in the position I was in. It was important for me to maintain that balance in the team's performance. Whereas now, I can leave my post a little more, look to get forward, move closer to the opposition goal. Lampard likes Jorginho. Jorginho likes Lampard. Jorginho agent likes linking Jorginho to Juventus. <laughs> It's an interesting one. Juventus is obviously a huge move. If he fancies going back to... It's like Sarri, isn't it? I think Sarri actually liked Chelsea, even though it wasn't a great fit for him. But you can't turn down Juventus if you haven't really got a true affinity to Chelsea. But I think Jorginho does have a true affinity to Chelsea now. The players, the players, the fans sing his name in Stamford Bridge. Not just when he scores penalties as well, when he does something good. Literally, the Chelsea faithful always chant Jorginho. I'm not sure he's going to get that at Juventus, even if he does play well. Sure, he'll get a big contract. Maybe if he wants to be back in Italy, it's like the top of the top, isn't it, Juventus? To play with Ronaldo if he wants to go back to playing with Sarri but from what we've read there he should like playing with Chelsea for me this does scream agent trying to get player a new bumper contract maybe the agent gets some sign on fees I don't know still he said it they're the words they're out there Jorginho is either going to be annoyed at his agent or be like let's get this new contract or be like let's get this move to Juventus We'll have to see. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comment section below. Express your thoughts and opinions on these stories today. Kappa's uh, breakup with his girlfriend affecting his form. Chelsea signing this winger. Do you have any idea who he is and is he good? <laughs> Willian's strop after the failed Barcelona move. And Jorginho's agent's comments about him potentially going to Juventus. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like this video. Why not subscribe if you are new? Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it for me, guys. You lot enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.